Hey, so welcome back to the Gothic Arts channel. Thanks for stopping by again. Today we're talking about the Black Ops 4 beta, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. So first a little background on me. I've been playing Call of Duty since World at War. Uh, I've loved it ever since. I mean, of course, we've had some ups and downs, you know, but I'm still sticking with this franchise. I really liked Black Ops 3, and that's what this game reminds me of a lot. So anyway, let's get into uh, the good and the bad. The good part. I really did like the specialists in this. I know it's kind of like everyone's saying there's a reskin of Black Ops 3, and, and it does kind of like look like that some of the time, but they've added some new specialists in. They're really fun to use. I really like to use all the specialists, their abilities and things like that. I think they're pretty balanced too whenever it comes to that, except for, except for the dog. Nomad's dog is kind of just like, I don't know, like every time I would use the dog, I feel like it would get like one or two kills and then just die automatically. Like I, I could get a lot more kills with with pretty much any other specialist. I really liked the fast place gameplay. I did play some World War II, but it just seems kind of slow to me. I don't like the dolphin diving. I never did. I never used it. I really like the sliding. I feel like sliding really adds more speed to the game. I didn't really mind the wall running, but I did like I did mind the flying all around the map, <laughs> as I said in a previous video. I really like the gunplay in this game, even though we'll talk about the 150 health later. I especially like the assault rifles in this beta. I've always used SMGs and shotguns, but the assault rifles really, I feel like they really shined in this, in this beta at least. We'll see how that turns out whenever the game's released. I don't feel like I got to play enough of the game. I was having a lot of fun with it though. I, I played for at least, I think I, I had to have put at least eight hours in, in the beta. We'll have to play it again when the blackout beta comes out. Again, the beta for the blackout uh, Battle Royale is coming on August 10th, so, well, that's for PlayStation 4 owners. We don't know about Xbox and PC yet, but I'll keep you updated on that. So, yeah, I really like the gunplay and the movement. There is, um, I guess we'll go into what I didn't like since we're talking about movement. I feel like the sliding was a little sluggish, maybe that's the right word. I feel like in Black Ops 3, the sliding was a lot more smooth. It, it went a lot longer. I could like slide around entire corners and catch people by surprise. Oh, also, dude, the 150 health. Uh, I did not like the 150 health. I know some other um, Call of Duty YouTubers are saying the weapons are powered up to take on the 150 health, but it just didn't feel like it to me. I don't know. Like I would catch somebody by surprise and I felt like with some of the weapons I had to put like an entire magazine in them and then they would just run around the corner and regen with the health. I think maybe they should take it down to 125 health. I mean, if they still want to keep that like, tactical gameplay, but there were some points uh, playing this beta, it kind of felt like playing Overwatch almost just because of, of all the health. I think it's called the Swordfish. It was that assault rifle, three round burst. I really liked that and I could get kills with that a lot faster than SMGs. I don't know if you had that experience too, but teamwork really played a big part of this game, which isn't good for a solo player like me, but maybe we'll find a good team here someday. And uh, yeah, you definitely have to have uh, friends to play with with this one. The different specialists really work together to to make a fun you know, game and a successful match. The one specialist that, really, that I really actually liked that I didn't think I was going to like from the, uh, the description of him was the Builder. I forget what his name is, but he, he would slap down that like uh, razor wire. It would just stay there like the entire game. It was so great. I got like freaking four razor wire kills. It was it was kind of funny, but that's the one that sticks out to me. And the other thing I didn't like is, of course, like everyone else didn't like the armor. Those were really like the only two problems that stuck out to me it was just the movement and the health. Call of Duty's always been like a twitch shooter for me. Like whoever's the fastest in a gunfight will win that gunfight most of the time unless, you know, whatever you're using a sword rifle and they're using an SMG. Yeah, then there'd be sometimes I would load into a game actually a lot. This actually happened like four times. Um, I would load in and the screen would be completely black. There'd be like some outlines of windows and stuff like that, but I'm sure that, you know, happens in beta. I'm sure they'll fix that before the game comes out. Yeah, and also, you know, I really, I really actually liked the swimming in this game. It felt, it felt really smooth and it was kind of fun. I, like, I liked the mini-map too, the fog of war, whatever they call it, mini-map. You could see what your teammates could see and they could see what you could see. Again, this game just is, it does feel like it's very centered around teamwork. Score streaks seem to take forever to get. Wasn't the UAV like 
550 points or something. That's way too many kills to get a UAV, I think. I think they should lower that, lower the health to 125 and speed up the slides or make them longer or something. Especially if you're not using lightweight, you it feels so slow when you're running around these maps. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on this game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I didn't get enough time to play it. I'm going to have to play it more whenever this blackout mode comes out. We'll see how that is. I'm not sure how they're going to handle Battle Royale and Call of Duty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you had fun with it. Let me know what you would fix with this game. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. No, but seriously, hit the like button if you liked the video and leave a comment because I like to talk to people in the comment section. I like to see what other people are thinking about this game. Oh, the sniping was actually really fun too. I was getting some like quick scope shots and I was playing with a lot of different weapons that I didn't think I would like. Like the assault rifles. I, I've i never really played with assault rifles except for the ICR maybe in Black Ops 3. I'm just the kind of player that likes to run and gun with an SMG in past Call of Duty. So that's probably why I have these these judgments about it like the sliding and stuff like that and the and the fast movement i thought it was going to play a lot more like black ops 3 in some aspects it did but in others i mean it's boots on the ground i mean that's what everybody wanted so we have it that grapple hook was was really fun to use actually linking that the grapple hook with uh whatever that spike slam was really fun with uh ruin i actually like the health regen i know a lot of people didn't like that but I kind of like the ability to uh, regen my health whenever I want instead of like going and hiding behind a, you know, some cover and then waiting for my health for like 10 seconds to come back. I could just, if I remember to do it, you know, I could just um, pop that, pop one of those and get back in the game. Like, I wasn't expecting to like that at all. This beta really surprised me, so we'll see how the blackout mode is. I hope it's good, you know. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.